Anyway, this is episode 81 of Just One More Topic, and we are going to be talking about a couple new announcements from Sony's PlayStation Now camp. Yeah. And from the camp of, let's hope this works. And it most likely won't. Because it hasn't, ever, ever. Before. Now, online renting. PlayStation Now is an online gaming rental service that allows you to play games from the cloud to whatever supporting platform PlayStation Now will be on. And most likely, it will be PlayStation 4. Cool. New service. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. It, it's a cool... Great stuff. Yeah. Good, good stuff. Get more stuff out there. That's awesome. Yeah. Good, good. And they, they announced pricing. Yeah. Uh, it's $20 for a month. Yeah. Or... I believe it was $45 for three months. And it gives you access to over 100 PS3 titles that you can play from the cloud yep. on your PlayStation 4. Awesome. Because, you know, backwards compatibility was not a thing being discussed for the PS4 when, you know, they launched the thing. Yep. And All great stuff. It's a, it's a cool, cool concept. However. But. You knew it was coming. And. This, I mean, it's just, we know that, how many times has this happened before? Well, We've tried this, people have tried this before. Yeah, there's been a couple of services, like, I remember GameSpy tried to do something, you guys remember GameSpy. GameSpy, Game Spy, they handled a lot of, like, online components for various games, because they had the servers. Um, but then there's also a company called OnLive, and... OnLive. They... That's two. That's two. Um, and then Gaikai started doing their own thing. Today's. And... But here, here's here's the yeah that was like French. Um, the thing with uh, with Gaikai was that Sony actually purchased them, so PlayStation Now is not exactly a brand new thing either. It's Gaikai. It. I think that's the point. Yes. So um, <laughs> Sony didn't trust themselves to to to, to, tr to try to do this on their own. They actually purchased another company that was doing things already in this field. But hadn't actually, you know, launched anything yet. So Sony kind of went out with a, a, a leap of faith that, hey, hey, maybe a company who hasn't launched anything yet might actually be yeah. able to help us do this. And I don't know if they really even, I don't know how much research they did into the success of these beforehand. I would assume that's the number. Um, um, but... I feel like an executive one day just kind of like went to a red box and was like, red box is amazing. Like he did red box all week and he watched like 12 movies and he played like yeah. four games. He's like, yeah, fucking red box, man. Yeah, it's amazing. Ah. It like, red box shit his pants. Yeah. And then he went yeah. in there. He's like, we got to do this. And everyone's Even like, like I don't know if that's a great idea. And he's like, no, we're doing it. Like when, when he, when he, when he shit himself, what, was it also like the plastic cases as well? Like, was it the entire like, I don't know. disc or whatever? I, Who knows? I, I don't know. But the moral of this story is that he thought that was a great idea. But how do we make it better? Uh, we make it better with new stuff. No. We make it better with new stuff. No. New, but new new stuff is fun no. to rent, so I can see if I like it first before I actually buy it. No, because that's that's demos. That's demos, which we're also starting but to I, see. I can't play like the fewer. whole game from a demo. Well, I only play like the little first bit. Yeah, but see, but that's the thing. But, but, but that's the thing. You know, it's just who who cares about demos? No one cares about demos. No one cares about trying before they buy. Nah. No one wants. Nah. To, no one wants to. I want to do that. Well. That's just too too fucking bad. No, because here's 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 the awesome thing about it is that you're not going to own any of these games. You're never going to actually see a physical version of this game at all. It's going to be completely digital. Oh, I'm not. It's not even digital. You don't even own a digital copy or license to this game. It is just allowing you to play the game from a cloud server oh, cloud. on a play on a platform. Of our choice, not yours. Oh, of our yeah. choice. Of, and you're going to pay us. And then once your subscription okay. is over, okay, once, so once keep going, going down. Once once your subscription is over, you no longer get to play any of these, of these games. And of course, I'm oh, sure some people are probably fun. pointing out, well, hey, Netflix is like that. Oh. Hulu is like that. 
You don't pay to own any of that content yeah. from Netflix That's or true. Hulu. But here's the thing. Games are not TV or movies. Yeah. They're I not. think people are much more likely to watch a TV episode one time or watch a movie one time. And then never touch it again. Never touch it again because they're like, I know what happens already. Yeah. That can't possibly go any different than the last time I saw it because there's yeah. zero chance. I mean, there could be a different edition, an uncut edition. but There could be. That's still just the same sequence of events, but extra stuff put in there. There could be a single long edition because it's Disney and they love that shit. And... But in a game, you, you get to be involved, and you get to do the action, you get to punch things, and shoot things, and kill things, and build things. And, and, and you are in control of what happens. Exactly. Now, one of the games that is being touted as, hey, you'll be able to play this through PlayStation Now, Mass Effect 2. Fantastic game. Wonderful game. But as you pointed out... I you... can get it on Steam. For how much? And like this during this most recent winter sale is like what five bucks I think. And you own a digital, so. a digital license to yep. that game. I own it forever. You you own it. Yeah. You own it for five fucking dollars. Yeah. Now granted, Mass Effect Two is not a hundred plus PS3 games, but you own it. I own it. You completely outright own it. Yep. Whereas, and I can play it today, tomorrow. Three years from now, 20 years from now, and I still only played five bucks. Exactly. Well, at least I assume I could play 20 years from now. Yeah, Steam might not be around in 20 years. Who probably. It, it, I mean, it'll probably be around, but. In some form or fashion, I'm sure. And. Future Steam. I'm, I'm sure that's what they'll end up rebranding you know, their entire store. Valve will just become Future Steam. But anyway. <laughs> Online services have tried this before. We mentioned OnLive, and that went swimmingly. Who here remembers OnLive? Wait, what? What? Chirp. Who? Chirp. OnLive. On Xbox Live? No, not Xbox Live. Oh. You're not making any sense, man. On OnLive. It was... OnLive. Yes, it was like I'm a. Live. It was like a little, uh, I'm you know, whatever those geometric shaped looking things were. Um, it wasn't like it was just a very low profile box. Mm, Had a controller box. that kind of resembled the Xbox the box. Um, it kind of resembled the Xbox controller, just because that was kind of becoming the norm for controllers. But it allowed you to rent games, play them from their cloud services. And I get to own these games? No. Oh. You don't get to own that, these games. That's bad. And OnLive doesn't even own these games, so a developer or a publisher could be like, well, you're no longer going to have access to those games. So even if I'm still paying for their services, they could still take my game away. Yes. That sucks. So, if we were bringing up that whole Mass Effect 2 thing again, even... If the service was still live, yay, Mass Effect Two. And your service is going yeah, just I'm fine. Yeah, for it every single month. And then all of a sudden, Bioware yeah. is like, "Wait, we're not seeing enough money from this anymore. Yeah, I'm no longer on the service." And what happened to all my data and stuff? It's gone. <laughs> and, you <can't, laughs> and you can't even transfer your save files over. You can't do anything at all because you never at all <laughs> owned the, the game in the first place, Why? physical, digital, or even cloud. That's rude. And it's kind of the same thing with, like, PlayStation Now. Yes, it's kind of cool that, once again, another big company is, you know, throwing support behind cloud gaming. But as we've kind of talked about, there's still a lot of development that needs to go into this. And what you had pointed out before we started filming, and I'm wanting to make sure that this gets into this episode because it was actually a really <laughs> interesting, you know, way of looking at this thing, you're never going to see a brand new game on a service like this. Never. You're never going to see a new game because if I want to buy a new game and I'm like, well, maybe I'm just going to try it out on the PlayStation Now first. Well, I try it and I play it and it's mostly story based, let's say. Um, I play it for four days and I get halfway through the story and I'm like, okay, I'm going to keep playing and I play it and then I finish the story and... I'm not really, like, super interested in playing it again. Uh -huh. 
but you could have made me pay 65 bucks mm -hmm. or $60 for you and $5 for the government. The government. And that 10 and cents. I mean, I don't, I don't know exactly pay. how much is going to government. But yeah, because we, we live... Retail know, price is like fifty nine ninety nine. so shut up. Yeah. Suck um, a dick. You could have made me pay that much, but now you're only going to charge me $20 for kind of that and then maybe some other stuff I might play. Mm -hmm. yep. And and most people during this time are going to be buying new games as well, spending their time on new games that they bought at retail price and they have this service sitting there charging them every month for games they might not even play. Exactly. Um, they also haven't really instituted really old games yet. Games you really don't have access to anymore. Maybe your old system went and broke down. Maybe you're a little younger and you weren't around for those kind of systems. Full so shame. you just don't have them. So you can't go back and play those with this with this either. Now, there are some older-ish stuff. Mm -hmm. It's fairly recent overall, though. Yep. But... If I wanted to go back and play something from the PlayStation 1 era, can't really do that yet. Yeah. Even PlayStation 2, one of the greatest systems ever, not really much from that. Yeah. So I, I, I need to see something in the way of newer or in the way of older before this service, I think, can really work at all. Because when you're talking about new games especially... People also go out and buy your special editions. And you're like, well, I'm just going to put a plastic figurine and an art book in there. I'm going to charge you 150 bucks for that shit. $150? Yeah, that, that figurine cost us like two cents. dollar because we had foreigners make it. And exactly. most of that was just paying for the boat mm -hmm. to get it over here or the plane or however we shipped it. And yeah. then... Probably the, on the back the of the art children. book is just half of it's just pictures from the game Xerox, and then half of it is just other bullshit that our artists drew up in their spare time that we also Xeroxed and put in a book for you. Hundred and fifty bucks. Hundred and fifty bucks for that. There's only one collector's edition or something in that. that I've ever purchased where I felt like, wow, this is actually really worth you know more than the, the usual. And that was the Skyrim Collector's Edition. The one that had the big old, you know, badass dragon with the little stand and, like, the the hardback book of cover, uh, like, strategy guide, art book, and all that kind of stuff. In this gigantic box. It was it was cool. That's, like, the only thing I've ever purchased where I'm like, hey! But how much should have you paid for that? Probably, like... A hundred? Yeah, 80, most. A hundred? Eighty dollars to a hundred? Eighty dollars... Eighty two hundred dollars. Anyway. Eighty two hundred dollars. So eighty two hundred dollars. Damn America. So basically we're saying that you gotta do something new with it. Yes. You can't just say, hey, we Here's got some, some of our games. a little bit older stuff on here. We got a little bit of our older stuff on there. You can play that. That'll be fun. That's worth twenty bucks a month, right? Twenty bucks a month also. You know, known as $240 a year. Yeah. That's actually a lot more than you might think. How many new games is that? About uh, four? That's about four new games. Four brand new games. Which I could probably spend, sometimes, I could spend four months playing a new game if I was invested enough in it. Yep. Dragon Age Inquisition was really the only game that I was able to put too much, or, you know, enough time to actually enjoy, and I still haven't got past like seven. I'm also hours. including multiplayer games. Yes. So multiplayer can take up a lot of your time. The thing is, is that I haven't really seen too much in the way of the multiplayer stuff. Um, as well. But anyway, this is a 15-minute episode, and point to be made. It's a cool concept. It has always been a cool concept. It's nice to see a big company putting support behind it. But as you've said, and as I've said, this is something where new games will not release on them, and older games are going to cost even more for Sony to get licensed to, to be able to add them to the PlayStation Now service. So unless PlayStation Now just starts duping 
you know, millions and millions of people into buying it early on, third-party publishers are not going to be like, oh yeah, yeah, here we go, put 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 this in in your store front. Not my hand, an actual game. But anyway, I am Tridracius. And I'm Rar Bagels. And this was episode 81 of Just One More Topic. Good day. It's over here. All right. Hello. Welcome to episode 81 of Just One More Topic. I am Tridracius. And I am Rar Bagels. Damn. I was so looking, like, for Are we some reason... starting again? In my head... Restart. No, we're not restarting. Uh, in my head, for some unknown <laughs> we're reason... We're not post... No, no way. No way. I, I thought That's you just... were about to say Taborius. I don't know why, but...